What's up guys, Mike here, and today we're gonna learn about Stinger Transitions. All right, so you wanna add some spicy Stinger Transition. Well, I got some news for you. It's actually very easy to do. So to help make this very easy to see what we're doing here, let's go ahead and add a color source. Now, the reason we're doing this is just to make this really simple so that we can see that we're going from one source to another. You don't need to do this because uh, you can go ahead and use some of your settings within OBS already. And whether you have scenes or um, other things like that, you, you can already have this set. But for the sake of just making this easy to see the difference and just seeing this in action, we're just going to go from blue to red. Now, by default, fade is already something that you have set. Sometimes you can already have it set to cut. That way, when you're going between your scenes, you're going from just one to the other. It's just a hard, a hard cut. And then with fade, you can actually up adjust how this is. But we're not talking about the real basic things here. We want to we want to get spicy. So what you're going to go ahead and do is select your drop down add stinger now you can name this whatever you want i'm just going to go ahead and leave this stinger by default now what this will do is this gives you the option to add a stinger so you can go and select like browse and then from here i already have a folder of some black and white uh, stinger transitions that i use uh, in my youtube videos as well as my stream already so for the sake of Keeping this simple, we are going to use some of these to demonstrate how easy it is to add a stinger transition to OBS. Now, a caveat with this is these files are WebM. What this is, is this is a video file that has a transparent background at some point, very similar to a PNG photo, but in a video format. Some video codecs like MOV, can have a transparent video, but those are very taxing things for a computer to render. WebM is a much smaller file size and also just a less intense thing to render. So I highly recommend using WebM files for your transitions. You can use .mov, but WebM is gonna be much steadier and cause less issues. So for the sake of this one, we are going to do left to right. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to select when you want this transition to happen. You can either do this in milliseconds or frames. The reason why I prefer frames is because it just makes more sense to me. If I'm in a 24 frame video timeline and I know I want this to change at a half a second, well, 24 frames a second, half of a second would be 12 frames. So at 12 frames, I want that transition to happen in our OBS. Uh, canvas you can see down here in the bottom right we are in 60 frames let's go ahead and just have this set to 30 frames now what's cool is you can preview this transition and you can see it's already pretty good it goes from a to b pretty steadily no problem at all but just for the sake of whatever just for this just for the sake of you know for science let's go ahead and do this at five frames just to see what happens so you can see here it goes from a to b pretty darn quick it doesn't even get a chance to complete its transition so this is where you can start to guesstimate a little bit and just see if you're on the money or not so you're looking for these color changes so you can tell that we're just a little bit too soon so 30 seems to be pretty solid so we're good to go we can go ahead and set okay so now you can see when we go from scene one to scene two your stinger transition is already working nice and easy all right so now let's just say for the sake of argument you wanted to have different stinger transitions when you go to different scenes so let's say every time you go to scene two you want a particular transition to happen let's say you have multiple stingers to choose from different kind of wipes ones that could go from top to bottom or instead of left to right you want it to go right to left in obs version 27 you can do that. You can set scene specific transitions. It's really awesome. Let me, let me show you how it works. So let's say we already have our default stinger, which is left to right as we set up earlier. But let's say 
when I go to purple on scene three, I want a different stinger. This is how you do it. So you go to add stinger. So you can, we can uh, just call this stinger two. Browse. Let's do stinger dark split. We'll change to frames because like I said earlier, for me, it just makes sense. It just makes more sense. Uh, we'll go ahead and start at default 30 frames, just kind of right in the middle, a, ha a uh, half a second. And we will preview that transition. Looks like it works pretty good. Just for the sake of double checking, let's go to 25 and 20. What we're looking for here is just to see at which point is it going to the neck, going from A to B. And if it's going just a little bit too soon, 25 actually seems to be pretty solid. So we'll go ahead with 25. Now you'll see here in your scene transition, Stinger 2 is now selected, which means every time we go now, we're not doing our left to right. We're doing our little crisscross. That's not what we want, right? So the way that we want this to work is we want scene three to only be the crisscross and we want the rest of ours to be set to our left to right. You'll right click, transition override, stinger two. And then for your scene transitions, stinger. Now what OBS is going to do is every time we go to scene one and scene two, it's gonna use our first stinger. But whenever we go to stinger three, it's going to use a different stinger. So let me show you. As we go to one, we're going left to right. And to two, left to right. And number three, crisscross. Pretty slick, right? What's even cooler is you can also do this with individual sources within OBS. So let's say you're doing a transition to a scene that has a webcam. You can actually add a stinger transition to animate in your webcam or an image or anything like that separately as you bring it in. It's pretty slick. There, there's a lot you can do here in a creative sense. This is just a, a simple way to show you how to add stinger transitions and how you can add a specific transition to specific scenes. So there you go. And just for the sake of fun, let's go ahead and add a third stinger just so that we can add a specific stinger transition to each individual scene. Again, we'll change this to frames. We'll go ahead and default this to 30. And then we'll do circle. Why not? All right seems to work pretty good okay now we'll go to scene two transition override stinger three we'll go back here our default transition will always be stinger one left to right and then let's go to three and to two and to one pretty awesome <laughs> all righty guys you now have Stinger Transitions and OBS. You're fancy now. Your streams are now to the next level. Congratulations. If you found this video helpful, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thumbs up if you're into that. We do stream three nights a week. You can find links to that down below. And we do post a video here on this channel every single week about storytelling, content creation, video, audio, gear reviews and guides and all that good stuff. So if you'd like to see more content like that, feel free to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.